G'day Therese, uh, this is uh, Matt from Springwood Nissan here just taking you through your uh, personal video tour on the uh, 2002 Honda CRV that we spoke about earlier. Uh, now I'll take you through for a run around the car. I do apologise, it may be a little bit dirty as it's uh, we're having all this rain at the moment and it's uh, actually still raining uh, just slightly here as it is. Um, now let me take you for a look around the car. Um, this is the car that you've inquired on. It's a lovely, nice vehicle. Um, really nice condition, as I mentioned earlier. Um, as you can see, things I'd like to point out on the car are that the, uh, the paintwork and the body on the car is in still, still in very good condition. You can see, for example, the headlights. A lot of these start to yellow and fade out as the cars get older. This one, nice and clean, nice and well looked after. The car itself, uh, as you can see, down the sides of the vehicle, um, pretty straight. There's not really even many uh, what you'd call car park dings and whatnot in it. It's uh, in quite neat condition. Um, it does have the uh, the CRV Sport alloy wheels, being that it is a sport, this car, so they're a nice little extra extra inclusion. And uh, one thing I will point out as well, actually, the uh, front tyres on this car are being replaced. Uh, we're actually going to have brand new tyres on the front of it, so when you uh, actually come to uh, come to drive it, you'll see that it's got brand new ones on there. Uh, the rears themselves are almost new on this particular car. Um, so you'll see here that they've actually got plenty of meat, plenty of tread depth there. And again, the alloy wheels, which are actually in nice condition. They're not scratched up or, or gutter rashed or marked up. The actual car itself, as we walk around, you can see just as neat at the, uh, at the back as what it is at the front. Um, you've obviously got your uh, CRV Sport badging there and it's got the, uh, the Honda, Honda wheel cover. Um, while we're around here, I'll just open the boot up for you. So you can see that door opens outwards. And it's uh, held there on the uh, on the gas strut, which you'd probably be used to if uh, if you've had a CRV in the family before. As you can see in the back, plenty of room, and again, nice and clean, nice and tidy. Um, you know, across the top of the rear bumper bar is in quite good condition. Uh, no real scratching or marking from anything going in and out of the car. Same with the scuff panel at the back here, um, in really neat condition. And you can see in the boot itself, the trims, the seats, the carpets, all are uh, all still really nicely presented. Uh, now I'll just close this up. And you may also be aware on the CRV that that, uh, that rear glass uh, do, does pop and fold out as well. Um, now, as we move around to this side of the car, again, uh, wheels on this side in great condition. The body, the paint, uh, in nice condition as well. So you can see it's very, very straight up the side of the car there. As I take you around the side. And back around to the front. Now, if I did have to pick anything on this car, Teresa, I'd probably pick a couple of marks that I'll just point out to you. Um, so one thing I noticed when I walked around the car was there's a little mark just down here on the uh, little scratch just on the um, side mold on the car there. There's a couple little marks just down the bottom of the wheel cover. And there's a couple of just chips on the edge of the door there. Um, but other than that, as I said, in lovely, neat condition. I'll open the car up and give you a look inside. See, pardon the rain, uh, in the back of the car, very neat, uh, very well maintained, looked after. The seats are in lovely condition, all the trims, the doors in nice condition. Same with the carpets, you can see they're nice and clean and, uh, and unstained and unmarked. Same with the door in the back here. In the front of the car. You can see as well, driver's seat, very, very nice condition. This car has been well maintained and looked after for its for its age, that's for sure. Um, you can see there, all the driver's seat in lovely condition. Again, carpets and floors in this particular car, not ripped, not broken. Steering wheel, they've uh, had the cover on that there. In the centre console, also nicely looked after. Passenger seat, exactly the same. And over the carpets there, and the centre instrument cluster. Uh, now, I will just... Uh, jump into the car, start it up for you. So, oh, one thing about this car, you do have two sets of keys that come with it. So two keys and two remote control boxes. Let's turn it on. Start it up there. Okay, so, so that's all started up. Um, the car's done 145,080 kilometers. You can see it's just running away there. Um, you'll see there's no lights on, no warning lights, everything's as it should be. That's all going nicely. Uh, one thing you will notice, this being a sport, it does have the uh, the cruise control just on the side of the steering wheel there. It does have your dual airbags in the vehicle, and it's also got a sunroof, which is a uh, a nice uh, nice little inclusion as well. Um, all your uh, radio, 
air conditioning controls. Again, all nice and neat, all uh, all uh, well looked after. No scratching, no marking on the trims. Uh, just goes to attest that the, the fact the car was uh, was looked after quite well. Uh, what I will do, I'll pop the bonnet for you. Give you a look underneath. So as you can see, as I mentioned earlier, the car was twelve thousand uh, dollars. We have I have just reduced it on sale at the moment. So yeah, nine nine ninety. It's a very very good value at the moment. Uh, let me just pop the corner up for you. Okay. So as you can see, underneath engine bay, all nice and clean. Uh, well looked after. No grease and dirt and whatnot lying around. It's all. All very nice underneath there. And that engine's just ticking away nice and smoothly.